What's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, and college football fans everywhere? This is the Picture Network. I'm Tizilla83, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you would, at the end, like, comment, share the content that you're watching. And of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap that sexy, wonderful subscribe button down below. Since being the head hog at the University of Arkansas, Brett Bielema has had more than just a couple of guys bolt early for the NFL draft, you know, uh, voiding their last season of eligibility in college, guys like Darius Phylon, Denver Kirkland, Hunter Henry, Alex Collins, Jonathan Williams even had a year left that he could you know he could have come back and played. You know, every coach has to deal with that and that's usually it's kind of a good problem to have actually if it shows that you're recruiting well and you're developing guys well enough that you know they're that they could be considered for the NFL combine and potentially be drafted. This is a good thing and it's also it's kind of a double edged sword. It's also a bad thing. You lose guys early and, and that's less experience coming back for the following year. This year for the Arkansas Razorbacks, it was for the second team all SEC center Frank Ragnall. Frank Ragnall obviously had to deal with the death of his father. Brett Bielma was there for him. Came out today and, and wrote a really beautiful note. I'll leave you the link down in the description box, but more or less talked about the trials and tribulations that he had to go through this year. And then he talked about the Razorbacks being his family. He talked about the greatest fans on earth being the Arkansas Razorback fans and just everything that kind of goes along with that, you know, as being a part of the reason why he's coming back for his senior season. For the Razorbacks, it's awesome to have this guy back. Obviously, they're a great big family. They all, you know, care about each other and all that good stuff. It's good, too, because the Arkansas offensive line a year ago struggled. Frank Ragnow was the highlight. Dan Skipper was, too, at times. But, you know, with, with so many new guys on the offensive line and, and rotating things around up front, trying to get guys situated, it was kind of ugly. And so, obviously, as the year went on, it got a little bit better, even though Austin Allen, even at the you know last couple of games of the year, he still pressured quite a bit. Regardless, they did get better as the year went on. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how they handle a really good Virginia Tech defense. Has you a little bit less worried about having to replace a guy of his caliber, a guy of, of Frank Ragnow's caliber, a very, very good center. So it just makes things that much more concrete up front. You're already losing Dan Skipper, who's a four-year starter. So that's one less guy you have to worry about when you're bringing back a, a Frank Ragnow. So now you just really need to worry about your tackle position. I know that's easier said than done, so we'll have to wait and see what they do there. But again, really big news. Frank Ragnow will be returning for his senior season with the Arkansas Razorbacks. Don't be surprised if some preseason magazines have him ranked as one of the top three, top five centers in all of college football next year. So keep uh, keep a lookout for that. So for all things Arkansas Razorbacks and SEC, remember to bring it here to the Picture Network. If you like what you saw, like like the video, comment down below. Of course, if you haven't already, share the content and tap the subscribe button. Until the next video, peace.